Uh, you know who was on the field this past week doing doing work here. How about 122? No, let me get my map. 114 yards, his third career 100-yard game. All three of them coming with the Indianapolis Colts. One week 18, two already this year. Joining us on the TV now, the Rich Eisen Show, live from Indianapolis. That's running back Zach Moss. Zach, how are you, man? Thanks for joining us. I'm doing well, man. Thank you for having me on. How good did that one feel? How, how, how good did it feel with all the talk? I know Jonathan Taylor's your teammate and your guy. All the talk this week. And then, bam, Zach, you bust out, have another huge game and 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 you guys play great yeah i mean it was it felt great real good uh honestly to you know go out there and perform at a high level um you know the whole entire offense we did a good job of just executing the plays um and it felt even better that we was able to get a win i think you know at the end of the day winning that type of game divisional game um you know that's the biggest thing at the end of the day Zach, I, I, I got to step back and 15 yards on me. I, I, I did on pro football reference. I, I wanted to see your 100 yard games and they got him in the wrong order. Dude, you didn't run for a buck 14. You, you, you ran for a buck 65 and two scores, Zach. Let, let's get your numbers right. A buck 55 <laughs> feels a lot better than 114 as I learn how to read my computer screen. <laughs> yeah, you know, it definitely feels a lot better. It sounds better, too. <laughs> yeah. And you know, you know, it felt good too. Is running away from people on that long one? How'd that feel? That felt good. Um, you know, the offense did a great job. O line did a great job. Big Q and Ryan opened up that left side uh, with Blake as well, and he gave me a. You know, it's nice to be untouched on some of those runs, and they did a great job of that on Sunday. Yeah, I mean, when we think untouched, we think like Tyreek Hill, right? We think Devon Achan, like. <laughs> Like we don't very often hear Utah's all-time leading rusher, but like Zach Moss, untouched to the end zone, as you said, Brian uh, Ryan Kelly and Quentin Je uh, Quentin Nelson and, and Blake Freeland there as the left tackle. This is kind of your identity now with Shane Steichen, right? You guys want to pound people. Yeah, we know our our staple of our offense is the run game, right? You know, we want to run to win, um, and you know. That's what I love about being in this offense. That's what I love about Coach Shane's offense. And I think, you know, we have a really good offensive line. Um, we have a really good running back room as a whole. Um, and obviously the quarterback position, we have AR and Gardner who do a lot of great things for us as well. So um, we definitely want to run the win, and that's our identity. What was let, – let's backpedal here, Zach. What was that first month and, and really training camp like with all the uncertainty – with Jonathan Taylor, because as a running back, I'm sure that you want to see running backs get paid like running backs, getting paid helps everybody, including you next off season as well. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was a lot of stuff going on, obviously uh, just having him go through all that type of situation. Um, you know, I really wasn't paying too much sense to it, to be honest with you, because I was going through my own thing with a broken forearm during training camp as well. So um, I was dealing with my own stuff, but, you know, it was good to see him finally get paid. You know, the guy deserves it. Um, one of the best backs in the league. Um, great, great teammate, great character guy. So, you know, super happy that he was able to uh, get that done. Zach, um, they're not listening. They're, they're dealing with their own thing right now. This is just you and me talking, kind of. <laughs> is there any how you like me now to the people in Buffalo that traded you? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say that. I think, you know, Buffalo, you know, when I got drafted there, um, you know, I definitely enjoyed my time there. You know, I, th I think I learned a lot of different things as a person on and off the field that allowed me to be able to, you know, be in this position I am now um, and, you know, be able to go out there on the field and capitalize on the opportunities I'm given. You know, that just wasn't the case in Buffalo. I wasn't, you know, able to do what I would have what I was able to do in college uh, in that style of offense. Um, and, you know, those things just didn't work out. But, you know, I appreciate my time there. Um, loved all my teammates that I was able to be around in my time in Buffalo. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.